These are my three favorite drills for curing target panic. I had target panic really bad back in like 2010, 2011. Got the help I needed. These drills are what got me through it and I still do them to this day because they help me become a better shooter. They help me um, keep that target panic away and keep that unanticipated release and that shot execution solid. So this time of year, I do a lot of these types of drills. First drill, and if you have target panic, I recommend doing this drill for two weeks without releasing an arrow. You're gonna draw your bow back. You're gonna set your pin on a spot, whether that's a deer's vitals, a 3D target, or a circle or whatever. But you're gonna let that pin splash on that spot, and then you're just gonna let it float. And it's gonna move all around that circle and what I want you to do is just let it float, let it float, and never release an arrow. You're gonna hold it there, and you're gonna do that until your shot breaks down, and then I want you to let the bow down. Do not release an arrow. And what you're doing is you're training your brain that it is okay to hold that pin on the spot and not release an arrow. A lot of guys that have target panic will freeze below the circle, and they're stuck there, and then all of a sudden they push it up into that circle, and then they punch the trigger. So this will help rewire your brain that you can actually hold that pin right on the spot, let it float, and you don't have to release that arrow, you don't have to punch it. So you'll draw back, put the, put the pin on the spot, load up your trigger, and then just let it float. So I cut that short there. I probably had another 15 seconds or so, but let that pin float all around that. Make sure your finger is on the trigger because that's gonna train you that you don't have to punch it. You can just let that pin be on the spot. And then that will allow you to progress to the next drill that I'll recommend here in a minute. But do this 20 reps, 30 reps, whatever you have time for. Do this every day for about two weeks without releasing an arrow. All right, so my second drill for curing target panic is blind bailing. You can do this really up close to a target. You can take your uh, sight off the bow if you want to, or you can just simply close your eyes. But what you're trying to do is you're trying to ingrain a new shot process. For people that have target panic, they often slap the trigger, they punch the trigger. So what I like to do is I like to execute my shot with a back tension method. Basically, I load up my finger and then I start to pull my arm back. This is exaggerated, but I'm pull, 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 pull until the shot breaks. So essentially, you know, I'll be at full draw and I'm not moving my thumb into the trigger at all like this. I'm loading it up and then I'm pulling my whole arm back as if there was something behind me I'm trying to touch my elbow to. So once I settle that pin and then I decide to execute my shot, I'll think pull, 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 pull until the shot breaks. And essentially it's pulling my thumb into the barrel. I'm not actually moving my thumb. So what you want to do is come to full draw, put your pin on a bag target with no spot, no aiming, close your eyes, and then you're going to pull, 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 pull until the shot breaks. And again, you're going to do as many of these as you can for two weeks. So two weeks, with the first drill, which is just holding, aiming without shooting, then you're gonna follow it with two weeks of just blind bailing, just working on shot execution.
Okay, the third and final drill is kind of bringing those two drills together. So what you're gonna do is now you're gonna move to a spot and you can start up close at like 10 yards or whatever, aim at you know a pretty big spot. You're gonna come to full draw, you're gonna load up your trigger and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna try to execute that shot by pulling through the shot, but you're gonna try to do it as slowly as possible. I want you to try to make it last 10 seconds. So you're gonna pull so slow and so gradual that it lasts around 10 seconds. Now it probably won't, it'll probably last five or six or seven. But the point is you're trying to allow yourself to do a mental exercise of letting that pin flow, even though you're trying to execute the shot and it's taking a long time, you're staying in that execution, you're letting that pin flow and you're focusing on the pull, pull, pull. Hopefully you won't have any anticipation, no anxiety, and you can just focus on the shot and focus on that movement of pulling through and just let that pin flow and get a good execution. Something like this. I load the trigger. I set the pin on the spot and then I execute. Pull, pull, pull. Just like that. So by taking that extra time, you're training your brain to stay in the shot, to focus on the execution, not to worry about what your pin's doing, if it's moving or starting to shake really bad. You're focusing on the movement of the shot execution and you can get that perfect unanticipated shot down at the target. And if you can do that and you stick with these three drills, you'll cure target panic. Mm -hmm.